were triggered by this video, you'll probably want to go ahead and skip this one because today we're making noobs. N-U-B-S. Ice cubes made out of... I had the bright idea to freeze my product this time. I really enjoy icing my face and when thinking about icing, I thought, why not experiment with one of my favorite flavors? That nutty buddy! My hormonal acne is showing out this month, so combining my two favorite methods just made sense. My husband better watch out, y'all, because I'm thinking I should make an entire ice tray out of these. Someone tried my other method and mentioned it has helped her marriage because she needs him to produce more for her skin. And for those of you saying this is nasty, live life on edge for a bit. There's nothing better. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back and thank you for hitting the subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Do you guys remember the old fairy tale of Cinderella and the happily ever after? Do you ever wonder what's that happily ever after means? What does that mean? Well, we have a real life situation right here, a real life Cinderella. And Aww. it's looking pretty bad. All right. We have Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Now, Prince Harry was ordered by the Queen of England to marry somebody from royalty. And Prince Harry bucked the system. He says, no, I want to marry for love. I want to find my own mate. She's going to love me for me. All right. So this dumbass Prince Harry. He does the uh, coming to America style. He leaves England and comes here and meets Meghan Markle. <laughs> Meghan Markle, if you guys doesn't know, she is allegedly was an escort. All right, she was a a yacht baby. She bounced from yachts to yachts and dated older men and did some strange change, strange things for some change. Okay, so she was out there already. And this dumbass marries Meghan Markle. I remember when she was getting married, all these black women were so loud and proud. She's a black woman. And everybody was living vicariously through her. They wanted a prince too. They wanted to be just like Meghan Markle. And it's funny that nobody had smoke for them of the interracial relationship. Nobody had smoke for them, especially black women. So they get married. and. Everybody is had high expectations for this black woman, right? She goes in, and what does she do? She says racism. She uh -huh. goes around and act like a bull in a china shop and start destroying things. The family welcome her with open arms, and she says they're racist. No, they're racist. They're racist. That's all she had, and now. You, 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 the family had to shun you because you were just a knucklehead. <laughs> Guys, this is a cautionary tale. If you ever make money, if you come out the hood and you start making money, do not go back to the hood and marry a strag. Do not marry somebody off the block. Do not marry for love. You got people from money, marry people with money. Wealthy people marry wealthy people. Don't go back and marry somebody off the streets. Don't go back and marry an escort. It's the same thing with Pretty Woman. You know the movie with uh, Richard Greer? No. And um and uh and what's it name? Julia Roberts. A lot of strags love that movie. If anybody you know, any woman you know say, "Oh yeah, Pretty Woman is my favorite movie." Man, haul ass. Okay? Again, cuz she's living in fantasy land. She want to run around and be a hoe. And thinking, 
a Prince Charming is going to come down and save her. Same thing with Pretty Woman. I'm pretty sure if we go on to Pretty Woman Part 2, you'll see that Julia Roberts' character destroyed Richard Gere. Because she's a strag. She's no good. She have no class. Don't teach a woman class. She got to be already full of class. All right. Meghan Markle came from a broken home. Right. From the age of two, her parents were separated and she bounced around from, <laughs> from uh, father to mother, broken home. She don't know how to be a classy woman. She looked classy, but no. she's not classy. She was on people yachts. Okay. She was bouncing around with old men for money. And she lucked up and married Prince Harry and she still didn't know how to act. So what happened to Prince Harry? He's in exile. They kicked him out of the royal family. And now he's bouncing around with his wife and two kids from Oprah Winfrey house to Tyler Perry's house and just, they got nomads. They're nomads now. They're homosexuals. They got nowhere to go. Wow. He can't work. He can't get a job. Somebody uh, gave him a podcast and gave him millions of dollars up front. And they did two podcasts. That's it. What? Where the money go? Burnt the money. And now they're spending money on security because that's all they got. Security. Walk around with two or three people around them all at all times because he's still got the family name. But nobody wants him around because of your fucking wife. She dropped the bag. She fumbled the bag. The Queen of England was this close from dying. All you had to do was hang around, shut your mouth, and play the game. But no, no. She's walking around talking about racism with a chip on her shoulder. Your daddy's white. Do you call your daddy a racist? Do you see, this is unbelievable. All you black women, where you at now? You're so loud and proud of, you know, she married a prince. But she messed everything up. She messed the prince's heritage, his uh, his lineage. Everything's messed up because she didn't know how to shut her mouth. Now, yeah, America bouncing around with nowhere to go, no job, no money coming in. They got a little allowance, a little allowance. And she's walking around. <laughs> Look, they had a, um, a Barb Marley, uh, um, a Barb Marley opening for a new movie that's coming out, right? And her and the prince comes to see it and they don't even get VIP treatment. They put them in a pack and set them down among the common folks. You see what happened? With marrying people with no class, you NFL people, you NBA players, it's the same thing with you guys. If you make it to the NBA, do not go and marry somebody with a big butt from the hood. Uh -huh. You're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get divorced. Ninety percent of athletes, black athletes are divorced. And ran through the money. The money is gone. They got baby mama drama and they're back where they started. 90% of black athletes are divorced within 10 years. All right. So this is a, again, it's a cautionary tale. If you make money, marry somebody who is coming out of money. If they're in a two family household, that's great. If they are broken family, Eh, not too great. Not too great. You're going to get some problems. You're going to get some problems with her. She's going to ruin your shit. Woo. Anyway, happily ever after. If you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right all right until next time i'll see you again and all you princesses get off my lawn <laughs>